Hey, this is Liam from Tonight's Treatment, and I'm sorry about the weird angle. I've just got this really weird camera with a really tight focus. So I've got the the fridge in here, but I'm sure you can see me and hear me fine. So in this video, I'm just going to break down really quickly what does it mean when the noise goes from your left ear to your right ear, okay? So first thing we're going to talk about is what does it not mean? Generally, it's going to mean that you don't have noise trauma tinnitus, which is what I had, okay? So here's the thing. There's a multitude of ways you can get tinnitus, but the most two common ways are generally, well, sorry, the most, the two, um, the basic two ways you can get it, and I sound professional, I know, are noise trauma, okay, or, you, and then we're talking about things that are like that, like stress, antibiotics, physical injury, emotional trauma, physical trauma, physical injury, um, neck problems, stuff like that, okay? Now, when you have any of those things that I just mentioned, physical injury, noise trauma, stuff like that, you can do damage to the nerves, you've done damage to the liver, you've done damage to the levels of cortisol in your body, your sympathetic nervous system is going crazy, which is a fight or flight mechanism, okay? Or most of the time you've got toxins in your body and everybody's got toxins in your body and I'll say it again, Diet is not always the cause of tinnitus, but it is always the reason that tinnitus doesn't get better, okay? Because your body can heal itself from practically anything short of, I can't cut off my hand and fast and have cold showers and expect it to grow back. That's ridiculous. But I can get tinnitus from noise trauma, or I, which I did, and I healed it using fasting and cold showers and a multitude of other things, okay? But when I was fixing my tinnitus, it didn't go from one ear to the other because it was a localized issue, okay? It was inside my ear and my other ear as well. Now, I, I, I got a contact me today, so thanks for sending this email. You're going to know who you are straight away. And you said, Liam, my tinnitus has gone from one ear to the other. What should I do? And the answer is you should pop a bottle of fucking champagne because it's not noise trauma tinnitus. It's fantastic, okay? Noise trauma tinnitus, which I had from drums, is very hard to get rid of. It takes a lot of effort and a lot of prolonged fasting to get rid of, and it is rough, okay? No qualms about it. I had a lot of crying during me trying to get rid of it, a lot of suicidal thoughts, a lot of going through hell, Partly because I was a bit of an idiot while trying to get rid of it. First of all, I was stupid getting in the first place and not wearing hearing protection. Second of all, I was stupid listening to doctors. And third of all, I was stupid because I tried lots of dumb stuff and I just, you know, bought all the tinnitus scams and got screwed over. So hopefully you haven't done that. Maybe you have, but I was pretty dumb doing that shit. Anyway, but if I can figure it out, you can too. So what's happening when... Um, that is um, occurring, okay? So you need to understand something. You need to understand how your lymphatic system works, okay? So your lymphatic system is what, when your toxins get, um, when you're fasting and the toxins get kicked out of your fat cells and throughout your body, they obviously get pushed out of the cells and something needs to come along and sweep them away. That's the job of your lymphatic system. So where is your lymphatic system position? Okay, it's all throughout your body, obviously, and it grabs everything. And it's essentially, it, it can um, help pull the blood back to the heart after it's been pumped out. It's kind of like the thing that pulls it back. But it, it, the first original job, the most important job it has, is to get rid of toxins and dead parasites. That's its main thing. And how do you pump up um, the lymphatic system? Fasting, but exercise. You must do exercise. I've said it before and I'll say it a fucking million times again. Every single thing I tell you guys to do has a fucking reason. Do it. Do it all. I don't want to hear the excuses. I just want to hear the results. That's all I care about, okay? And a lot of you are fucking killing it. I just want to say congratulations, especially to this guy who was transferring. Because here's what that means. Your lymphatic system is like this, okay? Part of it is located here. This quarter of your body, okay, including your heart, and the rest is the other side, okay? Now, when it goes from ear to ear, it means that you're kicking toxins out of different parts and it's moving, your lymphatic system is pushing the toxins out of your body so you eventually sweat, wee, or poo it out, okay? And so it's moving it all around your body. So it just means that there's movement and it's toxins getting kicked and your body's just going, whoa, this is the first time in 25 to 30 to 15 whatever years that we're actually doing what we're supposed to be doing and it is just mayhem inside emotional and physical mayhem. So it's moving from ear to ear. Does that make sense? And eventually that's, it, here's the thing, any change in your tinnitus is a good sign, especially if it doesn't normally change. If, you, if it never changes and it's always the same and it just gets worse or better, and then you start doing this stuff that I'm teaching you and it goes from a ringing down to a hissing, that is fucking gold. That is such a good sign. Mine went from a ringing to a hissing. Every, practically everybody that I've helped, no matter how they got it, it goes from a ringing, it goes from the and sorry, for, sorry for making the noise. I know that is annoying, so I apologize for that, but you get the idea. Down to a shh or like a tss, or some people have described it sounds like sand 
falling in or the wind or the ocean. Mine personally sounded, it was kind of just like, shh, with a, with a slight little ring. And that's when it started. And then it goes back up again. So we expect it to go back up again because your lymphatic system doesn't just go like out, out, out. It goes all throughout your body because it doesn't, and it's not like it's just like one base point and a million things shooting off. It's one, it's essentially like one line, essentially. And it goes all the way through and has a few exits and a few entrances, if that makes sense. So it's got to go through all that, okay? It's got to kick the toxins, it's got to deal with it. Your body's through a lot of stress. So that's what it means when it's going from one ear to the other. It means it's not noise traumatized, it's not localized. It means that it's down around your body, mostly your liver, pancreas, thyroid, stuff like that. Probably your heart, maybe your lungs are affected too. Your stomach is also going through stress. Maybe a parasite, maybe mold, something like that. Back to the point, lots of, there's, lots of, there's a lot to learn, okay? But if you want the, a more comprehensive guide, all you gotta do is click below, okay? And go to liamstopsnitis.com and download my free guide. Make sure you put your actual email in, okay? Because I send it to your email, okay? And as a pro tip, pro tip, everybody knows this. I bought this just for an example today, Rexona. Don't use deodorant. The aluminium and bullshit in this is awful. Same with toothpaste, toothpaste, excuse me as well. And lots of you say, well, you know, wh- wh- I can't smell bad. I've got to work and I've got to do this and I've got to do that. It's like, well, great. But the thing is, when we sweat, we're not supposed to smell bad in the first place. Okay. It's just because all the garbage we eat that our sweat stinks horribly. Okay. So that's the video for today. That's what it means when tinnitus is transferring. Go below, go to liamstopsnitus.com, start fasting. And I know that I'm kind of mean to you guys in my videos, but it's only because I care, okay? Talk soon.